guys, today's workout was a request by someone. We're going to do a 30 minute jump board workout followed by a 30 minute reformer workout. So if you don't have a jump board, you can kind of follow in around the 30 minute mark. Um, might be a little bit earlier than 30 minutes or a little bit more. Um, I try to plan out a workout, but it could be a few minutes longer or less. All you need is a yoga block or a pillow. Just, I like to use it for jumping because it gives me a little bit more head support and supports my lower back when I have a pillow when I'm jumping. Also for sideline, it's good so you're not straining your neck. So I have two red springs on to start. Let's lay down on our back. You can bring the headrest all the way up if you want. And if you don't have a cardio trainer, but you just have a normal jump board, you can do the whole workout on this as well. We're going to start with our feet parallel, knees together, feet together. As I said, two red springs. If you want to go lighter, go for a red and a blue. Arms long by your side. Each time you jump out, make sure you imprint the back down into the former. Try to aim your toes towards the upper part of the jump board. So you're always imprinting your back and protecting your back. So inhale. You're going to exhale, jump out, and land soft. If you're new to jump board, just go slow at first. And then if you feel more comfortable, jump a little bit further. Make sure you land soft and also land through the ball of your toes and then get those heels pressed down. Holding up through those quads. Get a deep squat each time you jump down. We have five more here. Four, three, two, one. Come on in. First position. So heels together, toes apart. Little V position. Remember, as you jump out, imprint the back. Exhale, press out. Zip up through those inner thighs. Try to relax the shoulders. Squeeze those inner thighs with your quads. wide to second position. So if your jump board's not big, your toes might hang off on the cardio tramp like mine are, but bigger your jump board and you have more room. So toes apart, legs are wide in second position, slightly turn out, arms long, exhale, jump out, and in. Squeeze those quads. Remember, think about lifting those toes up so the toes aren't dropping down to the spring. Make sure you breathe. Exhale as you press out. Last two. And come on in. Bring your knees to your chest, a little rock side to side. Take a little breather because then we're going to combine all three without stopping. All right, we're going to start in parallel. We're going to do 15 jumps parallel, then go 15 first position, 15 second position. Then we're going to drop down to 10, all three positions, and five. So we're just trying to warm up those legs. They want to get you a good warm up. Knees together, feet together, arm long by your side. And if you feel like your legs are dying, drop down to a red and blue spring, or a red and a white, or a red and yellow. Inhale, feet together, knees together, parallel feet, jump out. We have 15. Squeeze the quads. Imprint the back. Five more here. Four. Three. Two, next position is first position. Toes apart, heels together, jump out and squeeze. Zip up through those inner thighs. Five more here, keep pressing that back down. 
four, three, up next to second position, two, one, second position, toes straight out. One more here, and then we're going to bring those knees into your chest. So jump out, little tuck, press out. Two. So think about scooping through those lower abs to bring the knees up. If you can jump out straight and then pull in, try that. If you can't, just bring those knees straight up. That is more of a challenge. You jump and pull in. Try to think about getting the shins and knees higher than your knees as you tuck in. You don't want to go like this because then you're not using those abs. Keep pressing that lower back down into the reformer. Let's do eight more here. Seven. up through those abs, two, one, now we're going to pipe those legs up to the ceiling, jump, lift, if you want to do one at a time, you can, just make sure again you feather out the jumps, or you can go back to knee tucks, you 
You can also have the legs slightly bent if your legs or hamstrings are a little bit tighter. We're going to do 10 more here. Exhale, press out 10. Feel the abdominals contracting. Last three, two, and one. You're going to come on in, bring that right leg, oh sorry, the left leg into tabletop. I'm going to have my left hand behind my left quad, right arm behind my head. You're going to jump out, twist towards that knee, and then back. So we're working that right oblique a little bit more. You can have both hands behind the head if that feels better for you. Or if you need assistance, have that left hand behind the quad. Ten more here. Last four. For three. Two. Last one with both hands behind the head. Just normal jump out TV flexion. If this bothers your neck, press with the head down. Just single leg jump. Feel that right oblique. Now we're going to add a little knee tuck with that right leg. Bring it in and out. Just 10, 2. Either stand in flexion or drop the head. Exhale, scoop, 4. Feel that right oblique, 5. And 6. Last 4. 3. 2. And one, come on in, right leg in tabletop, left hand behind the head. We're going to jump, rotate to that right knee, and back to center. Inhale, exhale, lift, twist, and down. Working that left oblique now. Again, you can have both hands behind the head, and twist if that feels better. Or have that right hand behind the right hamstring. Keep pressing that back down into the former. Ten more here. Last three, and two, last one, I'm going to have both hands behind my head, stay lifted in flexion if you can, and then just press out. Again, if it bothers your neck, put your head down, imprint that back down into the reformer. Feel that left oblique working a little bit more. Two more, and then we're going to add that knee tuck of the left leg. Last one. Then you're going to bring that left knee into your chest. Scoop through those lower abs. Stay lifted if you can. Try not to pull that neck. Just keep a little space. Last three. Two. And one, come on in. 
Roll on up. I hope your abs are feeling a little warm now. Let's get back to some legs. So I'm gonna put on a let's put on a red and a white spring because we're gonna go back to a little double jumping with both legs. So we're gonna lay back down on our back. So again, if you don't have a red and a white, if you don't have a white spring, go to a red and a yellow, or you can have a single green spring, or just go to a single white spring. I mean, sorry, a single red spring, if this feels too heavy. So we're gonna jump off of both legs, and then you're just gonna bring the right knee into your chest, and then land. So we're gonna stay on that right leg first, and then we'll go to the left leg. So legs together, feet together, arms long, jump out, bring that right knee up, and then land. Just right, just the right leg, too. So you're jumping off both legs, but lifting one leg up. Fairly quick motion. Think about driving that right knee into your chest. Ten more on this leg. Jump off of that left leg, bring it into your chest. Sorry, jump off of both legs, drive that left knee in. Press that back down into the former. Ten more here, keep breathing. Take off the white springs you have on a 
single red spring. Lay back down on your back. Right foot is on the jump board. We're gonna reach the left leg straight up to the ceiling. If you have tight hamstring, you can always keep it bent. Single leg jump, pressing off. So if we have the blue spring on, it was a lot of abs because we had less, or we had more timing. The spring is a little bit heavier, so it's more the quad. So you're gonna jump out, press through that right quad, right quad and down. Each time you press up, squeeze that quad as hard as you can. You want to 
land toe and then heel. So you want to make sure that heel comes down each time. Three more. Two, then we're going to kick that leg forward like a little L shape. So as we jump, little kick and land. It doesn't have to be super big. It's kind of a quicker motion. And you want to make sure that foot is the same height as the hip. You don't want it to drop lower. You don't really want it to drop higher. If you don't like adding the kick forward, then you can just go keep it parallel jumping. You still want to land deep in that squat. We're going to do five more like this, and then we're going to alternate the parallel and this front jump. Last three. Last two. Last one. So one jump parallel, press it out. Then jump, kick the leg forward. Two. Back to parallel, straight jump. Kick it forward. Back to parallel. And kick it forward. Back to parallel. And kick it forward. Keep going like that, getting deep in that squat. Keep lifting up through the bottom ribs. Let's do two more. And kick it forward one more time each way. Jump. And kick it forward. Woo, come on in. Pound it out for a second. We're not done. We have a few more things. You can stretch the leg up to the ceiling. Good, right, taking a little breather. Okay, this time as we jump out, you're gonna bring that knee in towards your chest like a little knee tuck, kind of like what we've done with some other exercises, but this is working more like glute. So again, make sure that foot's in front of you, lift up through the bottom rib. You're gonna bend it in, jump out, tuck it up. It doesn't have to be a big knee tuck, too. It can be tiny if that's all that works for you. Three, jump out and press. Use that core to drive that knee. Do five more here. Four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna jump out, kick your heel to your butt. Just 15 and 14. Little kick back, 13. Use that hamstring to kick. Let's stick your butt out as you come in. Last six. And two. And one. Come on in. Woo, roll over to your back. Let's cross that right leg over the left. Pull it in. Feel a nice stretch through that glute. Rock side to side if you need. Press out. You can also sit up on the edge of the reformer and cross your leg and lean that chest forward. All right, let's roll over to the other side. So, rolling onto your right side, move your bottom back to the back edge of the reformer, lift up through that. Bottom right oblique, left foot is on the jump board, parallel. So just parallel jump and land soft. Get deep in that squat, sticking your butt out as you land. Each time you press out, squeeze that glute and quad. Make sure that heel is also landing on the jump board. It's not just your toes. Five more here, and then we're going to kick that leg forward. Last one, we're going to kick that leg forward. 
We're making a little L shape. Tiny kick forward again. It doesn't have to be big. It's a little quick motion. We have five more here, and then we're going to alternate between the two. Last one. Now you're going to do one parallel jump out, one kicking the leg forward. Parallel jump, kick the leg forward. Back to parallel, squeeze that glute, kick the leg forward. Keep going like this, deep in that squat, kick the leg forward. Jump out, kick it forward. Let's do two more each way. Last one. Good, come on in, pound it out for a second. Do a little stretch, open that hip. We're going to go into knee tuck. So as you jump out, bring that knee in towards your chest. Parallel foot, jump out, tuck it up. It's a quick tuck, use those lower abs. Try to jump out a little bit before you tuck. Five more here, and then we're keeping your heel to your butt. Last three. Two. One. Jump out, kick your heel to your butt. Last thing with the jump board, then we'll get into a former workout. Two. Use that hamstring to pull in. You're just kicking that heel into your butt. Deep squat, we have five more, four, three, two, and one. Come on in, roll over to your back, cross that left leg over the right, little figure four stretch, breathe, relax that left glute. All right, so let's roll on up. I'm gonna take my jump board off just because if I wanna extend my legs at all, it won't be in the way. So you can either leave it on or take it off. It's up to you. Now we're gonna get into the reformer. So if you just decided to hop in now, we're gonna do a little 30 minutes of reformer work. So you're gonna hang up your strap so they're easy to get to. I'm gonna put on a, I'm gonna put on a single red spring. If you wanna go heavier for a little arm series supine or some people call it mid-back series, you can go for a red and a white spring or a red and a blue depending on your machine. Um, or I guess if you have a green spring, you can put that. So laying down on your back, I still have my head pillow. You can, if you have a yoga block, you probably don't want that. It's going to be too intense. So press out slightly. You want those hands just in line with the shoulders, slightly pressing into the straps. One leg into tabletop, other leg. Imprint that spine. So your back is pressed into the reformer. Your abs are engaged now. Your lats are engaged by holding the ropes. You're just going to press the arms down to your hips and then back up. I like to have my toes a little bit higher than my knees. I know it's not true tabletop, but sometimes this bothers my back if my feet are a little bit lower, but I like to have it a little higher. Whichever version works for you, you just wanna protect your back, make sure it feels good. Exhale as you press, straight arms reaching long towards your hips, control it back. Each time you exhale, suck the belly button into the spine. Resist it back, just so the hands are in line with the shoulders. 
keep going here. Straight arms, reaching long out of the shoulders. Exhale. If you just did jump forward with me, then this should be kind of a nice, it's not really a cool down, but it should be a nice little breather. Catch your breath, let your legs have a break. We have five more here. Exhale, press four. Last three. For two. Last one, bring those arms up to the ceiling so the hands are back in line with the wrist. Keeping the carriage as still as possible, you're gonna open the arms out to a T and then back up to the center. Arms out to a T and lift. So the carriage is staying still. You're just isometrically working those arms. You're still engaging those abs. We have two more here. Last one, pull those arms up to the ceiling. Now we're gonna press the arms down and you're gonna extend that right leg out. Bring those arms straight back up and extend the left leg. Exhale as you press. Reach one leg long, pressing that lower back down into the reformer. Only reach the leg as long or as low as you can without arching that back. If you have to reach it up to the ceiling, that's fine. You always just want to protect the back. You don't want to feel any pain. If you want to lift the head and chest up, as you reach the legs out, you can. It'll get a little bit more upper abdominals. I'm going to keep my head down for now. But do, if you want more upper abs, then lift the chest. We're going to do four more here. Last three. Exhale, press for two. Last one. Hold it. I'm going to lift my head and chest up now and then just alternate the legs. Reach and switch. Switch. Go slow. Keep reaching long through those fingertips as you're pressing out of the shoulders. Exhale. Keep reaching. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Bring those arms up to the ceiling. Arms out to a T. We're gonna bring those hands down to the hips, squeezing those lats, and back up. If you need a little breather, just take it and then join us when you're ready. So palms are facing your thighs as you squeeze down. So you're activating those lats, the muscles underneath your armpit. Back up to a T. Don't go higher than a T. This is not good for the shoulder joint. Exhale as you press down. Think about zipping up and squeezing deeper into those obliques, wrapping around the rib cage. Open and squeeze. We're gonna do three more. Then we're gonna add the legs if you feel comfortable with it. Exhale for two. Last one. Now, as your arms go out to a T, your legs are gonna be out in front of you. And exhale, bring those knees in as those hands come down. Reach it out. This is very challenging on the abdominals. So if you feel any back tension, then keep those legs in tabletop. Exhale as you squeeze. Pulling those knees in towards the chest. We have five. And four. Three, exhale as you pull those knees in, two, last one, pull those knees in tabletop, 
circles with those arms. We have eight each direction. And seven, six, five, scoop those abs in, four, three, two, Last one, reverse directions with that circle for eight. Again, if you need a breather, take it. Seven, six, five. Keep those arms straight as you circle. Four. Don't let the hands drop below the reformer as you circle around. Three, two. Last one, we're going to bring those hands all the way down to her hips. Arms are straight. They could be actually be in line with the mid of your hip. You're just going to do a little tuck of the pelvis. Ten. Nine. Use those lower abs. Eight. Keep pressing tension in the rope. Seven. Six. Five. Pull those abs in. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring those ropes up. Put your feet down on the wooden platform. Just rock the legs side to side. Get a nice back and hip stretch. We're going to roll on up. We're going to put on a single blue swing. We're going to do a few planks yeah, to continue activating those abdominals. So I'm going to put my feet on the wooden platform. If you have a platform that you want to put on and that's more comfortable on your feet, or you have a sticky that you want to put on, you can. My forearms are going to be down on the reformer. My hands are just on the outside of the shoulder rest. You're going to press out with one foot and then to the other foot. Abs tight, pull the belly button up to the spine, drop the shoulders down the back. You're just going to saw the arms forward a few inches and then back. You only want the elbows to come back so they're in line with the shoulders. You don't want them to go further back towards your belly button. So out and in. If you can't go out very far with those arms, that's fine. I want you to suck your belly button up to the spine. No arching in that lower back. Inhale out and exhale. Use those lats to pull out. So you should also feel the lats as well as the obliques and abdominals. You want to squeeze the butt and pull out through those thighs. We have four more. For three. Last two. And while we're going to pike it up the ceiling. Look at those shins. And then back out, hold the plank for a second. Look up. And then slowly hold that plank. Scoop through those lower abs to lift. You can always take a breather if this, if you need a break or if it's feeling too intense. We have five more here. Last four. For three, we have two, last one, press out, hold that plank, abs hit, squeeze your butt, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come on in. Whew. All right, do a little child's pose if you need. We're going to roll on up. I'm going to put on a single white spring. I'm going to sit cross-legged. You can also maybe have your legs, if you're not too tall, hang off the edge. Or you can do it kneeling. Kneeling is much harder and takes a lot of stability and core work. The first motion is going to be like this. So if you want to be up on your knees, feel free. I'm going to stay down on my bottom. So I'm going to take, so put on your lightest spring, mine is a white, if you have a yellow, put on a yellow. If your spring is not light enough, then grab like a two pound dumbbell. So I want my hand facing my face, my palm facing my face, elbow is kind of near by my side. Sitting up tall through that spine, just press that arm straight up to the ceiling, and then down. So it's a narrow shoulder press. You always want that hand as close as you can to your head or to your face. Exhale as you press reach. Try not to let the, the body lean to the right. 
So working that shoulder, controlling it down. I'm gonna lengthen through the spine, through the crown of the head. Exhale, press up. We have four more. Three. Two. And one. You're gonna grab the strap with the right hand, starting at your knee. You're gonna bend and reach it out to the side. So working that right shoulder as well as the rear deltoid. Again, standing up tall. You don't want to lean the body to the right as you pull or to the left. So even weight on both sit bones. Three more here. Go slow, reach along, pull it in slow. So you always want tension in the rope. Don't let the rope have slack. Last two. Last one. Come on in. You're going to switch back to the left hand. You're going to reach that left palm up to the ceiling. If you want to add that right arm, just so you know, so you're moving slow, you're going to bring the hands up overhead. And then back slow. Control it out. If you feel like you need a little bit more range of motion, you can move your body a little bit more to the right side, or you can come up onto the knees, or you can grab up higher on to the strap. Whatever version works for you. Slow. about dropping the shoulders down the back. Try not to let the shoulders hike up to the ears as you bring those arms up. We have four more. And one. We're going to go back to that right arm. I'm going to place my forearm, my elbow is on that back shoulder rest, my wrist, left wrist is on the front shoulder rest. You're going to bend that right elbow. The palm is up to the ceiling. Elbow stays still. You're just extending that elbow and then bending that elbow back towards your head. So kind of look at the headrest so you're not straining the neck. The elbow is just bending and straightening. Trying to work that tricep, palm is up to the ceiling. If you don't like this version or it's uncomfortable or you just don't understand it, then go to this single arm tricep. You might want to go to a blue or grab up higher on the rope. So that is the other variation. If this doesn't work for you, I know it's a little bit of a complicated move. It also is a nice stretch though through the right side of the body. So try not to sink into that left shoulder. Make sure you keep the palm of the right hand facing towards the ceiling. The elbow is staying still or the arm is staying still. You're just hinging at that right elbow joint. Bend and extend. Full extension. Let's do six more here. Control it down. Always keep tension in the rope, no slack. Last four. We have three. Press two. And one. Release. You're going to grab the rope with both hands like this. So one hand is at the very edge of the rope, the other one is actually on the rope. 
So you're going to sit up tall, you're going to rotate towards the foot bar, and then rotate back. Even weight on those sit bones. Exhaling as you twist. Lengthen long through that spine. Even weight on the sit bones. Use the abdominals to help twist. Relax the neck and shoulders. Go slow. If you can add on a blue spring or go to a single blue if this feels too easy for you. What we're going to add on in one second. Let's do three more here and we're going to add on. Last one. Okay, you can either continue with this, or I'm going to scoot my bottom forward a little bit. You can place your feet on the floor if you want. I'm going to reach my arms out, still holding that same position. One leg in tabletop, other leg. So you're balancing like a teaser type position. You're just going to rotate and back. So this is definitely a challenge. A lot of balance and stability. Using the abs, obliques, arms. Try to keep those legs as still as much as possible. Your hips are going to want to move to help rotate you. Exhale as you rotate. Control of that. So if this is too challenging, go back to the other version. We are just sitting. We won't be here for very long. We're just going to do five more. And four. Suck those abs in. Keep the pelvis rounded. Three. And two. Last one. And release. Okay, you can hang up that strap. I'm going to grab my other one. We're going to go to the other side of that seated arm mark. So again, I'm sitting cross legged. I have that strap, the right strap in my right hand. Palm is facing my face, sitting up tall through the spine. Even weight on both sit bones, cross that arm straight up to the ceiling. Then that elbow narrow back down. Exhale as you reach. Keep the hand as close to your body and face as you can. Think about dropping that shoulder down the back even as you press up. Don't let it hike up by your ear. Four more here. Always keep tension in that row. Last one. And release. You're going to grab the rope with the left hand. Start it at your knee. You're going to bend it across the body and reach it straight out to the side. Bend it in and bring it back down to the knee. Bend and reach. So working that left shoulder and the rear deltoid. If you want it harder, you can grab up higher on the rope. Try not to lean the body as you reach the hand. You want to lengthen everything tall to the ceiling. Even weight on both sit bones. You have three more here. Last one. And come all the way in. You're going to switch back to the right hand. You can scoot to the left a little bit if you need. Right palm is up to the ceiling. I'm going to reach my left hand out to the side just so I bring my arms up in the same slow manner. Up, back out to the side. Palms are facing the ceiling. Go slow because you don't want that slack in the rope. 
Exhaling as you lift. We have four more here. Exhale, lift four. And one, release it. You're gonna grab onto the strap of your left hand. My right forearm is now onto the shoulder rest. Bend that left elbow, palm is facing the ceiling, and you're just gonna extend it out. So look down towards the headrest. You're just bending and straightening. Only you're hinging at that elbow joint. Make sure the palm is facing the ceiling. And if you don't like this version, remember, go to the single arm kneeling tricep kickbacks. So you want to think about that wrist coming towards your head and then back up to the ceiling. Slow and control. Four more here. Full extension of that left elbow. And three. Last two. Last one. And sit on up. You're going to grab the rope or grab the strap with your left hand all the way at the end. Grab the rope with your right hand sitting up tall. Keep those arms as straight as possible. You're going to rotate towards the foot bar and then back. Exhaling as you twist, pull the abdominals in. Even weight on both hip bones, using the abdominal obliques to twist. You want to make sure the head moves with the arms as you rotate. So we're going to have three more here and then add on to the seated variation. Okay, last one here. If you want to continue with that variation, continue. Otherwise, I'm going to scoot my bottom forward a little bit. Still grabbing the ropes the same way. Lean back, one leg in tabletop, other leg comes up, balancing, rotate to the left, control it back. So scoot through those abs, tuck the pelvis, balancing like a teaser, exhaling as you rotate. I can tell this side is definitely not as stable as the other side. Slow and control, scoot those abs. Make sure those feet are in line with those knees. You're not letting the feet drop lower. Exhale as you rotate. Let's do four more here. Last three. And two. Last one. And release. Put your feet on the floor. Okay, let's hang up the straps. We're going to finish with feet and straps. I'm going to put on a red and a blue spring and bring my foot bar all the way up to the top notch. If you want to go heavier, go for two reds or a red, white, and blue. Laying down on your back. Feet on the foot bar. Grab your straps. With both hands, press the carriage out with one foot. One foot goes into a strap. Other foot in. 
We're going to put our feet down in frog position. Toes turned out, legs squeezed together. Bend those knees in so they're in line with the hips. Press all the way out, zip up through those inner thighs. Keep the shins and feet in line with the knees or slightly higher. Don't let them come down towards your bottom. As you press out, exhale, squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze those heels. Think about reaching those legs long towards the foot bar. Last three here. Last two. Last one, we're going to go to frog extension. So you're going to keep those legs in the frog position. You're going to press all the way out, keeping the legs straight. You're going to open those legs out to a little V position, stopping in there. Don't move the carriage. You're going to bend those knees in towards each other, back to the frog position. Press all the way out, squeeze those inner thighs. Open those legs out to a V position. Don't move the carriage. Bend those knees into a frog. Exhale, reach. Open the legs wide. V position. Bend in. Use those inner thighs not to move the carriage. All the way up. Open to a V. Slowly bend those legs in. And press out two more of this direction. Open. It's a lot of inner thigh to control not moving the carriage, pulling those heels together. Last one. Bend it in towards that back to frog. Hold it in that frog position. We're going to reach those legs out to that V position, not moving the carriage. Keeping the legs straight, sweep those heels together, then bend the knees back into frog. Open the legs out to a V position. Keeping them straight, sweep those legs down towards each other, bend back into frog. Up to a V position, keeping the carriage still. Draw down to a V, legs together. Two more here. Out to a V, keeping the carriage still. Use those inner thighs to draw the legs together. Out to a V. Squeeze, and then in one more here. Reach. And together, draw circles, bring the legs up to the ceiling, out and around, squeezing those inner, inner thighs, stabilizing the hips and pelvis. Only go as low as you can without arching the back. This should feel really good on the inner thighs, hips. Three more here. And two. Last one, reverse direction. Look a circle. Drop the legs straight down. Open out, circling around. Stabilize the pelvis. Try not to let the hips rock. You want the legs to move evenly. The same motion. I like to put my hands on my hip bones to make sure they're not rocking and they're evenly displaced. There's one level. Four more circles here. The last three. Two. The last one, bring the legs up to the ceiling. Grab the ropes, let the legs come towards your face. Exhaling, feeling a nice stretch down the back, down the hamstrings and calves. You can alternate, bring one knee in a little deeper. Bring those legs up. You're going to bend that right knee in. Let the left leg drop out to the side. Little Peter Pan stretch, stretching the inner thigh. Bend that left knee in. Reach that right leg out to the side. Feel stretching the inner thigh of the right leg. 
try to keep that left tip down as much as possible. Now bring both legs in and then slowly drop both legs out to a straddle. You can press down on the ropes if you need a little deeper stretch. Come up, take one foot out, other foot, hang up the ropes, come on up. We're just going to do a little side stretch. So straddle the machine, scoot your bottom close to the front edge. My right hand is going to go to the left part of the foot bar, reach the left arm up and over to the right side of the body. Keep your left hip down so you feel stretched on the left side. Take a few breaths here. Come all the way up. Left hand goes on the foot bar to the right corner. Right arm up and over. Reach to the left side of the body. Feel stretched on the right side. Keep that right hip down on the corner. The right butt cheek. Roll all the way up. And we're all done, guys. I hope you like this 30-30 workout, 30-minute jump board, 30-minute reformer. If you guys ever have suggestions, on workouts you want to see, just write them in the comment section and I will try to get it done. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and always comment. I love to see your comments and I will see you guys in the next workout.